Yes. I'm feeling a little dejected in his chair there, Tom. After what has just transpired at the tail end of that last frame. Yeah, in answer to Hazel's question, uh, I would have to say no. It's, I think this match is the same pattern as most of Ronnie's matches this week, apart from the man in the studio. It will turn into a bit of a procession. He'll actually be trying to, the, the red on the left half of the screen, he's trying to cover that with a green here. Oh, has he flicked one? Not quite. But has he covered that with a green? There is a plant on. Possibly a swerve as well. Quiet down, please. Mm, don't think he'll be swerving that. But uh, this is not an easy plant to, to get, especially the way he's feeling. that at all yeah, when you're playing against the Sullivan in this kind of atmosphere this kind of stage you're almost fighting in so many different fronts you're working in your own game you see Tom suffering there thinking about his own game he's got you under constant pressure the six times in defending champion as thin as he can back up for blue or bulk colour yeah, you see he got it nice and thin there One. Six. <coughs> well, 
running risk of playing a little cannon on the red and pink. He'd love to just flick that red away. Overrun that cue ball again. Eleven. Ever so slightly, still on this red to right corner. If I may use that red next to the pink just to kill the pace of the cue ball. You see the red is bound to be on something. Twelve. Cue ball's doing a bit of mileage so far in this break. Mm, this is not easy, this half ball red. One of the hardest shots for these players. It's the timing aspect of it. Playing it with screw but not hitting it hard. Holding for green. Oh, dear, dear. 16. Oh, beautiful shot again. Didn't touch the sides either. See, all about timing that shot. That's very, very rare that you see Rona Sylvan have to go for a bolt colour. Two shots in a row. There's no way they've got that cue ball on a string. Cue ball's running loose again. 20. Maybe it was screwing to the pink and red. Leave the pink on here. And I chose to avoid it. Go back 21. up again. Again, no ideal position. He's battling here to keep this break going. Twenty-six. It's a very unlike Ron O'Sullivan break this hour, isn't it? <laughs> I've never seen the cue ball travel so far. He just keeps potting the balls. Trying to slip across the face of the blue here. Yeah, still struggling for prime position. 30. Yeah, even someone as good as Ron O'Sullivan. You cannot keep being out of position. Not one point of that break did he have the cue ball where he wanted it. Thank you. Yeah, eventually the well will run dry. You keep trying to scrap for a good position. Now, Tom, you've got to start taking advantage. This is not a great chance, obviously, but knock the red in. Let's try and get back in the frame. Yeah, good shot, but didn't quite get the Thank purchase you. on the cue ball. What? Probably a lot of his concentration was just on the pot, and he knew the consequences of missing it. So. 21. Hard work. Uh, not going to 
to get close to his next red. This cue ball will be suspiciously going close to the pink, it looks like, off a couple of cushions. Just managed to avoid it. So another toughie coming up. Twelve. Now, angle in the blue, so it has to play some sort of cannon here. These three reds round the black. If he plays the middle one, there's every chance he'll nudge the one next to it over that corner pocket. That's what he's played. Well done. He's unlucky if he's not on that. He is on it. He may even be able to play for the black to the opposite corner. 18. It depends what angle he's got on it. Yeah, he's just pointing his Q-tip. Can he get that cue ball out of there? Yep, plenty of angle. 19. We can pop this black, which is not a gimme. He's created a chance for himself out of Pretty much nothing here. Yeah, providing he knocks this in. It's a good chance, isn't it? Yeah, good shot. Well done. This has been excellent. Chasing his tail the 26. first four or five shots, but now he's in decent position. Not a frame-winning chance, far from it, but... You'd expect to have a good lead. An outside chance of winning the frame from this position. Being right-handed, those two reds towards the side cushion are doable. Thirty-four. That's well played. Absolutely perfectly on the black. Just to stun off one cushion for one of those two reds on the right hand side of the table. Doesn't want to be dead straight in this red. 42. He may even choose to screw up for blue if he's dead straight. Just to get the cue ball out of there. Doesn't really want to be playing a black from tight under that side cushion. So he's yeah, screwing back up for the blue. 42. Okay, you shouldn't miss the pot in the red, but he was a little bit unlucky to land dead straight in this red, but yeah, you can see the, the direction of the tip of the cue. Just queued right across that one. Technique failed on there. Ronnie immediately playing the value shot here. For a top side or straight black to same pocket. This red goes in and he gets a good cue ball. He's set fair. Oh, he's... What a shot. Oh. <laughs> what a shot that was. And he's held it. <coughs> you see it again there. A little bit of check off the cushion. It's the lightest of touches. I think a little soft screw in the black now. Quite a basic shot, this, but the way he's been concentrating all afternoon. You fancy him getting top side of this next black. Just four behind. Nine. There it is. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
70. Stephen said earlier, such a good front runner or something. When you, I give him an inch, he takes a mile, this boy. Mm, wiped it straight. 26. Still just about ideal on the green. No. See it again. Just green and brown then. 29. Thirty eight, forty four. Tom Ford created the first chance to win the frame, but he fell down with three reds left. O'Sullivan did the rest, he extends the lead. It's 5-1.